If you've been yawning and stretching at those same old text-to-image models that offer as much excitement as a sloth on a treadmill, I've got something for you. Say hello to SDXL 1.0. Brought to you by Stability AI, SDXL 1.0 is capable of generating images so high res they practically leap out of the screen. And the best part is, it's completely open source. No fees, no strings, just pure creative freedom. Want to know more on how to access it? Keep watching. The biggest difference between SDXL 1.0 and the older V1.5 is size. The thing is a beast. With 6.6 .6 billion parameters, it's far ahead of its predecessor, which had just under a billion. And as you all know, more parameters means more brain cells, and that means this model is a lot smarter than the earlier versions. But what exactly does smarter mean in this context? Well, let me explain. SDXL uses a two-tired approach, a base model for sketching and the general outline, and a refiner model for the intricate details. Think of it as if you're building a house. In this context, the base model is like the blueprint, since it lays out where everything goes, while the refiner model is your interior designer. It adds textures, chooses color palettes, and finalizes the aesthetic elements. And both of these models work together to generate pictures that, honestly, no other AI can. SDXL 1.0 offers better color dynamics, contrast, and lighting than anyone else, and it does all of that for free. And let me tell you, the improvements here are noticeable. Because it's not just about cranking up the saturation for brighter reds or deeper blues, SDXL understands the balance and harmony between different colors, how they interact with each other, and the lighting in the scene. It gets the subtleties, like how sunlight filtering through leaves creates a dappled effect on the ground, or how the interplay of light and shadow can add depth and dimension to an image, which means that if you're working on a project that requires a specific mood or setting, the enhanced natural language processing capabilities of SDXL 1.0 make it easier than ever to fine-tune these visual elements. You can make your prompts as detailed as you want, and the model will grasp your creative intent and turn it into a visual masterpiece. Say you're working on a poster and you need an image that conveys freedom, but in a 1920s art deco style, no problem. SDXL understands that prompt and it can adapt its output accordingly. And all of this is possible because of the datasets that Stable Diffusion is built on. In the 12 million images that creators Andy Bayo and Simon Wilson analyzed, nearly half came from just 100 domains. Pinterest alone accounted for 8.5% of that pie, and other key contributors were WordPress.com, Blogspot, Flickr, DeviantArt, and Wikimedia. And while earlier versions could be wasteful, ignoring smaller images that could be useful for training, SDXL flips the script by utilizing these smaller images, leading to more training data and ultimately more accurate results. Plus, it delivers these exceptional results in high-resolution detail. A generous 1024 by 1024 pixels, doubling the 512 by 512 of its predecessor, which means you can get high-resolution images right out of the box. But let's get into the real nuts and bolts. How do you use it? Stable Diffusion operates a bit differently from competitors like DALI. To really leverage its capabilities, you need to get familiar with its modifiers. Take the seed, for example. Every image you generate gets assigned a unique seed, which you can think of as its DNA, determining its general composition. Loved a certain image? You can use its seed to generate something similar, but with your own twist. This is a pretty neat feature for people who want to maintain a certain aesthetic or style in their projects. Now, if you want to start using this amazing tech right now, you've got a couple of good options. You could try table splitting in Excel or use ClipDrop, which lets you generate images for free. However, the best experience is likely to come from using the Stable Diffusion web UI on your own computer. Provided it's got a solid GPU with at least six to eight gigabytes of VRAM, don't have that kind of firepower? No worries. You can still use the web UI via Google Cloud Doc and it's super straightforward. But let's focus on running the web UI locally, as that's probably what most people will go for. First, you'll need to download some crucial files, the base model for Stable Diffusion, a tensor file to add some finesse to your images, and a refiner to give your images that extra polish. Once downloaded, navigate to your Stable Diffusion web UI folder and drop these bad boys in the stable underscore models directory. Up next, make sure you've got the latest version of the web UI. Open a command prompt in the main folder, just type CMD in the folder path, and run a git pull. You should be updated to version 1.1.5, at least that's the latest version as of the time I'm making this guide. 
And here's a pro tip. If you're itching for speed, you can ramp things up. Locate the web underscore UI underscore user dot bot file in your main folder. Edit it and add script X to the command line arguments. This should noticeably speed up your image generation. After this, you're all set. Now, say you want a photo of a cat in a spacesuit inside the cockpit of a steel fighter jet. Sounds like an acid dream, doesn't it? Well, with the web UI, it's literally just a prompt away. Key in your description and set the image resolution to 1024 by 1024 for crisp details. Click generate and what you get is pretty darn impressive. The quality rivals paid services like Midjourney. And guess what? You're getting all of this awesomeness for free. But let's take a look at some practical examples to get a better understanding. This image was generated through SDXL 1.0 by using a prompt that told it to visualize the first moon landing. The same prompt was then used on Midjourney, and this was the result. You can clearly see that while Midjourney gave a very saturated or over sharp image, SDXL gave a smooth and polished looking image. Then we have the image of an old man. The one on the right was generated using SDXL, while the one on the left was created through Midjourney. While both tools did a great job here, in my opinion, SDXL gets the W again, just because of the realism. And if you want to notch up the details, that's where the refiner model steps in. Simply click on the send to image to image button and choose the refiner. Keep your resolution the same, but here's where you can tweak the noise removal setting. You'll find the sweet spot is often around 0.25, any higher and you risk changing the essence of your image. Oh, and there's also something that I need to clear up about the LoRa files. If you've downloaded this file along with your base and refiner models, you might be wondering what it actually does. Well, think of LoRa as a subtle filter. It adds a touch more contrast to your images, making them a little bit darker. Whether that's an improvement or not, that's subjective. You should definitely experiment to see if it suits your style. Don't just use it simultaneously with the refiner model because they do not mix well. Now, what about content? You see, Stable Diffusion doesn't discriminate against generating art based on people's names, but this absence of content restriction is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it gives you tremendous creative freedom. You can generate practically any image you can think of. On the other hand, this liberty requires users to exercise caution and ethical discernment. It's up to you to use the tool responsibly. Right now, one of the limitations of Stable Diffusion XL is that it doesn't support ControlNet, but an update is expected soon that will enable ControlNet to work seamlessly with Stable Diffusion XL. Once that is done, it'll likely open the floodgates to even more community-created models, and I, for one, am super excited to see that. Don't forget to watch these videos as well. Hit that subscribe button, like, and drop a comment below to let us know your thoughts.